Hello everyone and welcome back to my art channel. So today's video is actually in response to an inquiry I had from one of my viewers and that person was asking about the difference between raw and burnt when you see that name in earth colors like raw sienna and burnt sienna and raw umber and burnt umber and what that was and um, what the differences were in the pigments. So I thought that I would demonstrate that today. So you guys would have a little bit more in-depth knowledge of that. So uh, on the paint uh, palette out here today, I have some samples. Now this is raw sienna and burnt sienna. And this is raw umber and burnt umber. And the raw colors, like the raw sienna and the raw, this is the earth color that actually would have originally come out of the ground from the clay deposits. And the burnt version, or burnt as they say, uh, is actually made from the raw pigment. And what they do to get the burnt versions is they do a process called calcining, which means that they roast the pigment at a really high temperature in a furnace, but without any oxygen present. Uh, because if you had oxygen, then the pigment would just burn. But when you roast it at a high temperature without any oxygen, then the pigment changes color and it goes from uh, sort of semi-opaque or opaque to more transparent. So the burnt colors tend to be more transparent and much more warmer than the raw colors. Uh, so for example, for raw sienna, which is the first color I have here, and I just have a little... Uh, titanium white over here. I'm going to show you what they look. Uh, raw sienna is almost, it's very similar in tone to yellow ochre actually. Um, but as you can see, it's very light and kind of yellowish, but it's it's less yellow than yellow ochre, but it's, it's very similar in tone, but it's like a sort of a mid-tone tan color. And if you mix it with a little white, we'll see what it looks like. So now when you take this, now I don't know if you can see it, but the raw, uh, raw sienna on this sample is a little bit opaque. So what happens, like I said, when they roast it, is it becomes much more transparent and much warmer. And so then you get burnt sienna which is this color, and that's a huge difference. And burnt sienna is almost like a kind of a dark, almost like orange. Uh, and it becomes much warmer, redder, and transparent. So burnt sienna is a wonderful color to glaze with in oil paints because of that transparency. And it's got that really rich sort of fiery undertone. Um, I just have a little glazing medium out here. So if I mixed a little burnt sienna with that, you'll see what a beautiful glazing color that makes. And it's really bright and red and saturated. Um, burnt sienna is a great color to uh, use if you're painting copper. Um, a little burnt sienna mixed with cadmium red uh, and uh, black and white makes a great mass tone for copper. Uh, so as you can see, the difference between the raw sienna and the burnt sienna is pretty drastic. Uh, but basically, that's the effect that it has. That, that calcining process makes it go from sort of more neutral in tone and more opaque as it comes right from the ground to this really rich toned, warm, transparent color. Uh, and the, the umbers do the same thing, basically. Uh, so here's a little raw umber, which is it's pretty dark in mass tone. But if you lighten it up with some white, you'll see it's, it's a pretty neutral sort of cool brown tone. And that's the raw umber. But then if you mix, uh, or if you... Take the burnt umber, which has gone through that calcining process. You know, it becomes this sort of rich coffee brown color. 
which you can see is much warmer than the raw umber. So now the name, um, they think there's some confusion over the name of the umbers. Uh, they think that there's two possibilities that it either comes from the uh, old Latin word for umbra, which is shadow, um, because it's a dark color often used for shadows. Uh, but some people think it's named for the Umbria region in Italy. Um, so where the clay deposits originally came from. So I'm not sure about that one. Uh, whereas the Siena, the name Siena, that definitely comes from the city in Italy of Siena. That's what the color is named for because the clay deposits where that originally came from were near Siena, Italy. Uh, and I was lucky enough to visit Siena a couple of years ago on, on a trip to Italy. So that was really fun uh, to be there in person. So, and again, you can use burnt umber as a glazing color because uh, it's more transparent and it makes that, again, beautiful sort of rich coffee chocolate brown color um, when you glaze with it. Uh, so those are the basic differences between the uh, raw colors and the burnt earth colors. So that'll give you some idea of what their uses might be for or you know different applications that uh, they might be useful in in your painting anyway so i hope that you found this video informative and i thank you for watching and i'll see you next time take care thanks so much for watching Go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you won't miss the next video. And why not spread the joy? Be sure to share my videos on your favorite social media. Don't forget to head on over to my website, walcottfineart.com, where you can see my art, read my blog, or when you join my newsletter list, you can win free art. Every month, I'll choose a lucky winner for my email list, and that person will receive a mini original oil painting. There's a chance to win every month, so be sure to sign up today so you don't miss out. Plus, you'll get my fun newsletter. See you next time.